How do you get the perfect image from an AI generator? That's the challenge every user faces. Leonardo has a clever solution to this. How to generate Leonardo I prompts? Let me show you how it works. First of all, create a new account. The link is in the description of this video or log in to your existing account. You have three options to generate an image prompt. Option one, you can write out what you want yourself. For example, this prompt describes a painting of the vastness of the universe, evoking a sense of mystery and wonder. This step is entirely influenced by your artistic vision and the richness of your vocabulary. But don't worry, I'll provide all the necessary prompts in the description below. You can simply copy these prompts individually and paste them into the box. Modify the prompts to generate different variations. To craft an effective prompt for Leonardo AI, you need to provide detailed descriptions. Clearly communicate the intended mood or emotion, and adjust the prompt based on the results you get. Option 2. Please browse the available images in Leonardo AI and find one you like. Click on the image and you will see its prompt. Copy this prompt and ask ChatGPT to rewrite it in a similar way. It will create a new prompt for you with similar content. Then, copy this new prompt, return to Leonardo AI, paste it into the prompt field, and click Generate. Options 3. Use Describe with AI tool from Leonardo. Let's explore this method in detail. I found a sample image of a cat wearing a yellow jacket and cleaning dishes. I brought this into Leonardo and asked for a description. Please upload this image. Using the generated description, I created four images. The results were distinct yet shared the same vibe and style as the original. They're not exact replicas. Why would you need that? Instead, Leonardo captures the essence of the image, recreating it in fresh and interesting ways while retaining the main theme, colors, and style. I also decided to test Leonardo with one of the most iconic images in art history, the Mona Lisa. I uploaded the image and requested a description. Leonardo immediately recognized the painting and described it as the classic portrait known as the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Using that description, I generated several new interpretations of the artwork, each offering a unique take on the timeless masterpiece. The results were fascinating, providing a refreshing reinterpretation of such a well-known piece. I continued experimenting with an image of the football player Cristiano Ronaldo. The result was quite surprising. I noticed the face didn't look much like the original photo because it added a beard to Ronaldo, making him look a bit strange. However, his gestures looked very realistic. Maybe Ronaldo will look like this in 10 years, just kidding. Then, I decided to try something different. A simple stock image of a villa. I uploaded the image into Leonardo, requested a description, and used it as a prompt to create variations. You can see that Leonardo has produced versions quite similar to the original image, but not exactly the same. It has more creativity. This exploration showed how Leonardo can interpret a basic image in creative ways, offering diverse options that still capture the essence of the original scene. I have experimented with both images generated by Leonardo and images not generated by Leonardo. The tool still analyzed it effectively and used the description to create fresh versions. This process highlights Leonardo's ability to breathe new life into AI-generated images, offering an exciting way for creators to experiment with different visual interpretations. The process of creating a prompt is very simple. You just need to click on the image creation button, then click describe with AI, and after that, upload the image you want, and the prompt will be generated immediately. For the settings, I will do as follows. In the preset section, I choose Leonardo Phoenix. In the prompt enhance section, I choose off. In the preset style section, I choose dynamic. In the contrast section, I choose medium. In the generation mode section, I choose quality for the best image quality. However, it also requires more credits compared to selecting fast. In the image dimensions section, I choose a 16 to 9 ratio. And in the number of images section, I select four images to be generated. Then I click generate and wait a moment for the images to be created. If you create images and are not satisfied with them, you can edit the prompt as you wish. Remember, we're not aiming for an exact replica. The describe function captures the essence and generates based on that, but it won't be identical unless every detail is specified. If we want to adjust the image to better match the original, we can modify the prompt. Example, 
I will take an original image of this girl and edit its prompt. I will remove the description of her outfit and replace it with, she is wearing an elegant pink dress. And I add the sentence, she is standing in the garden. Then I click on generate. And here is the result. As you can see, the generated images are slightly different from the original but they can be useful if you need something similar. If you haven't tried Leonardo, give the free plan a go. You get 150 free tokens daily. Experiment and see if it meets your needs. The free version might be all you need. I hope this was useful. Leonardo AI offers many fantastic features and is my top choice for image generation. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel to receive the latest videos.